Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths video on discounts. In this video, we're going to look at how to answer some typical questions involving discounts. Now, whenever you go shopping, you might find that there's a promotion or a sale on. And when there's a promotion or a sale on, there may be a discount such as 10% off, 25% off, even a third off or a quarter off. And it's quite important to be able to work out how much you can save whenever there's those sales or promotions. And then also what you should pay whenever you have that discount or promotion. So let's have a look at our first question. So our first question says, the normal price of a TV or a television is £280. In a sale, there's a quarter off the normal price. So there's a quarter off the normal price. Work out the price of the TV in the sale. So to work out the sale price, what we're going to need to do is work out how much the discount is. So work out a quarter because there's a quarter off the normal amount. So if we work out a quarter off 280, we can work out what the saving will be. Then we can take that away to see how much the price would be in the sale. So first of all, let's find a quarter off 280. And to find a quarter off a number, you divide it by four. So we'll take our 280 and we'll divide it by four. And 280 divided by four would be 70 because 28 divided by four is seven. So 280 divided by four would be 70. So that means it's a discount or saving of £70. Now in this question we've been asked to work out the price of the TV in the sale. So that's a saving. So we need to take our £280 and take away the 70 that is taken off the normal price. And 280 take away 70 would be £210. So that means that in the sale the TV will cost £210 rather than the normal price of £280. So that question was based on a saving whenever there's a quarter off the price. If the fraction was a different fraction, perhaps two-fifths off of the price, to find the saving we would divide by five and then multiply by two. So whenever you're finding a fraction of an amount, if it's a nice fraction like a quarter or a third, you can just divide by four or by three. If it's a fraction where you've got perhaps two-fifths, you divide by the bottom and times by the top. So if we had the same question and it was two-fifths off, we would take our 280, divide it by five to find a fifth, and then multiply by two to find two fifths, and then that would be your saving, and then you would take that away to see what you'd be left to pay. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question says, the normal price of a jumper is 40 pound. In a sale, there's 30% off. So sometimes the promotion or the sale will be a percentage off, maybe 10% or 30%, 25% and things like that. So we've been told there's 30% off the price. That's two Fs. That means it's been taken off the price. Work out the sale price off the jumper. So because we're dealing with percentages here, let's write down some key percentages and how to find them. So whenever we're dealing with percentages, I like to know how to find 50% divide by two to find 25 percent you can divide by two and by two again or just divide by four ten percent we divide by ten to find ten percent and if we want to find one percent we can divide by a hundred so with those four building blocks we can work out nearly all the percentages questions nice and easily so in this question we'll be told the normal price of the jumper is 40 pound and we want to work out 30 percent of that 40 pound to work out what the saving will be first of all and then we'll take it off to see then what you'll be left with so let's work out 30 percent of 40 pound to begin with so let's get 10 percent so to get 10 percent of 40 pound we divide by 10 so to get 10 percent we divide by 10 so 40 divided by 10 is four pound so 10 percent is four pound so we know that 10 percent of 40 pound is four pound now we want to find 30 percent now we can do that in a couple of ways we can do four pound plus four pound plus four pound because that would be 10 percent plus 10 percent plus 10 percent that'd be 30 percent and four plus four plus four is 12 pound so that's one way we can do it Alternatively, if we know that 10% is £4, to get 30%, that'll be three times that. So 30% of £40 would be, well, 4 multiplied by 3 would be £12. So that means that we're saving £12 here because the 30% of £40 is £12. Now it's 30% off the price, so we're now going to take that £12 away from the normal price of the jumper to see what the sale price of the jumper will be. So we'll take our £40. Well, take away 12, and 40 take away 12 is equal to 28. So that means that the jumper will cost £28. Okay, so let's have a look at our next question. So let's have a look at our next question. Our next question says, a hardware store has an offer on torches. So here's a torch, and it says, buy one, get one half price. So we've got James would like to buy two torches that normally cost £9.40 each. How much will he have to pay, or how much does he have to pay? So we know if we get one for the normal price, we get another one for half price. So his first torch will cost him £9.40, but the second torch will be half that price. So we need to half £9.40 to see how much the half price one will be. So let's take our £9.40 and let's divide it by 2 and see what that would be. So £9.40 divided by 2. So 9 divided by 2, well, 2 into 9 goes 4 times, remainder 1. 
2 into 14 goes 7 times, and 2 into 0 goes 0 times. So 9 pound 40 divided by 2 would be 4 pound 70. So that means that his first torch will be 9 pound 40, and the second torch, which is half price, will be 4 pound 70. And to find how much James has to pay, we need to add those together to see how much that would be. So let's add them up. So 0 plus 0 is 0. 4 plus 7 is 11, so put the 1 down, carry the 1. Now you can put up here or down here, wherever you want to put it. I'm going to put mine there. 9 plus 4 is 13, plus 1 is 14. So that would be £14.10p. So how much does James have to pay? £14.10p. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Okay, let's have a look at our last question. So our last question says, adult tickets cost £40 and child tickets cost £30. Jennifer has a voucher for 15% off. She buys two adult tickets and one child ticket, and a 2% booking fee is then added to the cost of the tickets. How much does Jennifer have to pay? So in this question, we could do this in a couple of ways. We could work out 15% off these prices and take that away to find out the sale prices of these tickets. Alternatively, we could find the total cost of the tickets first of all, and then take off the 15%. And that's actually going to be the approach that I'm going to use. So she buys two adult tickets, so that's going to be £40 and £40. And then she buys a child ticket, so that's £30. So that means the total price of the tickets, and it is a calculator question, but I'm just going to do it using another calculator at this bit. So 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 3 is 11. So that's going to be £110. So the tickets would cost normally £110. But Jennifer has a voucher for 15% off. So let's work out what 15% is and then take it away to see what the price of the tickets would be once the voucher is used. So let's use our calculator. So whenever I'm working out percentages of amounts with a calculator, I tend to find 1% by dividing by 100 and then multiply by the percent we want. And in this case, that would be 15. So let's take the price of the tickets to £110 and let's divide it by 100 to find 1%. So £110 divided by 100 would be 1.1 or £1.10p. And then we want to find 15%. So we're now going to multiply the 1% by 15. So our 1.1 or £1.10p and multiply that by 15. And that would be equal to £16.50. So that means the voucher saves Jennifer £16.50 off the price of the tickets. So let's find out how much the tickets would be then. So £110, take away £16.50, and that would be £93.50p. So that means that rather than paying £110, Jennifer only has to pay £93.50p. Now, the question then says a 2% booking fee is then added to the cost of the tickets. Sometimes whenever you go onto websites to buy tickets, after you pick the tickets and go to buy them, a booking fee is added on. So Jennifer has to pay a 2% booking fee. So we need to work out 2% of this and then add it on. So let's get 2%. So let's divide it by 100 to find 1% and then multiply by the percent we want, which is 2 to find 2%. So let's take our £93.50p and divide that by 100 to find 1%. And that would be 0.935. Now we want to find that's 1%, let's find 2%. So let's take our 0.935 and multiply that by 2, and that's equal to 1.87. So there's a £1.87 booking fee, and we need to add that on to the price of the tickets, the sale, the discounted price of the tickets, which is £93.50, to find the total price. So £93.50 plus £1.87 would give a total price of. 95 pound and 37p so how much does jennifer have to pay well that'll be 95 pound and 37p so that's it so these have been the questions these have been the code maths questions going through discounts we have looked at working out a fraction off the normal price we've looked at a percentage off the normal price and then we've looked at questions whenever we've got buy one get one half price and also we've looked at a question where maybe there's book and fees and stuff to be added on as well this has been the code maths video going through discounts i hope you find this video useful there's practice questions on it on corporate maths as well so if you want to practice those feel free if you find the video useful please like it please subscribe to the youtube channel and thanks so much cheers bye